California murder and kidnapping suspect and his teenage captive continues in Idaho's mountains tonight. Mike Sharp has been reporting live from Cascade all day and has the latest. Mike. Roland, the uh, two believed to be DiMaggio and his kidnapped victim have not been seen since Wednesday at 5 p.m. At that point, police say a man on horseback near Moorhead Lake uh, ran into the pair, spoke to the pair, had a conversation, and apparently didn't notice anything super um, wrong with the situation. But when he got home, that's when he began to think about it. And when he saw the Amber Alert, he noticed that it was something he probably should call about. Nightfall has hit at this point in Cascade. A lot of people People are wondering, uh, were they equipped? And, and police say yes, they do have uh, camping gear. I don't know exactly what kind of camping gear they had with them, but I do know that um, there was, uh, he described it as being hiking and camping gear that would be, you know, that you would commonly see um, with somebody who may be um, back as a recreationalist in that area. Recreationalists are still coming up to the area. Uh, if you looked at Cascade, it looks like a typical Friday night. People driving through, heading to McCall, uh, continuing up Highway 55. So uh, aside from what's going on east of where I am now, it's very normal. Uh, some of the roads are blocked off as police do search. If you're headed this way, if you have family headed this way, or if you have any information, police are still asking for people to call 208 846 7676. That's 208-846-7676. Hey, Mike, I'm curious. Uh, the smoke that we've had from all these fires, did it play a role in uh, causing issues with the search today, and will they search through the night? Well, the question about whether they'll search through the night has not been answered. Police are unwilling to say. Uh, but when it comes to the smoke, the smoke is very visible here, and it cuts down on the visibility. Pol uh, and, and police are searching with planes and helicopters. So uh, obviously, looking down, it, it is more difficult for them dealing. They have admitted the fact that, that it has added uh, increased difficulty to their search. All right, Mike Sharp reporting live from Cascade. Thanks very much, Mike. And we will have continuing coverage 